the first one is the study in the archives about the Armenian genocide. The first aspect. The second aspect is the moral aspect and the legal. The third one is the legal aspect. I have a book in my hand, written originally in Kurdish and translated into Persian by a Kurdish intellectual, Kamal Muzaffar Ahmad, called Kurdistan during the World War the First and Armenian Genocide. Where the author, although not denying the participation of Kurds in the Armenian Genocide, aims at proving that the Kurds were just an instrument and means in the hands of the young Turks to commit this horrible crime against humanity by killing one and a half million Armenians. He states that only some of the Kurdish tribes had enmity with, with the Armenians. He brings archives, telegrams, other evidence in different languages to show the main organizers and performers of the Armenian genocide. And he states that, of course, the mastermind of this terrible crime was the Ottoman government, the Young Turks and Turkish, and the uh, participants and direct organizers were Turkish Chandarmerian army. He cites the telegrams of Talyat Pasha, then the Minister of Interior Affairs, of the Ottoman Empire about organizing and implementing the genocide and the deportation of Armenia. These telegrams were published in 1920 in London and the book is called uh, the, the Memoirs of Naim Bey, uh, who was the, uh, the governor of Halab region at the time in, in the Ottoman Empire. And he is a Kurdish intellectual and cites the this is one of these telegrams, where Talyat says, Although the extermination of the Armenians had been decided upon earlier than this, circumstances didn't permit us to carry out this sacred intention. Now that all obstacles are removed, it is urgently recommended that you should not be moved for feeling of pity and seeing their miserable plight. But by putting an end to them all, try with all your might to obliterate the very name Armenia from Turkey. Turkish historian Taner Akşam mentions uh, similarities between these telegrams published by Aram Antonyan in the early uh, 1920s to extant Ottoman documents because there were some opinions that all these tele uh, telegrams were forgery but of course uh, this was only a Turkish propaganda. And even later, Taliyat himself, there are sources and memoirs of different people who had uh, interviewed him and had relations with him, confirmed his direct participation in organizing the genocide by telling Henry Morgenthau, the US ambassador in Turkey, the following. I have accomplished more towards solving the Armenian problem in three months than Sultan Abdul Hamid, the second accomplished in 30 years. So, uh, the, uh, this evidence uh, proved that uh, even after the implementing this uh, horrible cr uh, crime, the Turkish leaders uh, recognized that uh, they were in the uh, they they were not to leave in peace and uh, calm condition. And that is why when uh, you as a nation, you are executed, you are depopulated, you are killed, and you are uh, deprived of your um, motherland, or most of that part, what are the leaders, what uh, are the Armenian leaders to do, or those remnants of the leaders to do at, at this situation. And one of the urgent and quick answers to this holy crime, as you may know, is the operation called Nemesis, masterminded by uh, Armenian patriots Shahan Natali and Darhan Garo, 
and uh, it was a plan of uh, uh, executing all the leaders of uh, and organizers of all Armenian genocide. And uh, as you know, Solomon Terlerian, Aram Yerikanyan, and others implemented about 20, uh, executed about uh, 20 leaders of uh, the Armenian genocide that lasted from 1950 to 1923, and also the famous massacre of Baku in 1980. And Nemesis uh, it was after the name of Greek goddess of divine retribution. This was the quick answer of the Armenian leadership at that time. But more important aspect of the genocide is, of course, the, the study of the genocide and uh, not only the recognition, but the legal and moral aspects of, uh, of, of recognition. Uh, well, uh, when I was in Iran, I was told by one of my friends that in Iranian archives there are some documents, mainly reports of Iranian consuls from the Ottoman Empire regarding the period of World War I and Armenian genocide. And I went to, uh, to the Iranian archives and found about 30 such reports where the Iranian diplomats describe the mass deportations and massacres of Armenians in various parts of Ottoman Empire. I made a copy of these archives and gave them to the Museum of Genocide in Armenia 